Welcome to my review of Hilmer A.F. Clint and Piet Mondrian, Forms of Life at Tate Modern London. This exhibition ran from the 20th of April to the 3rd of September in 2023. And here I am doing my bit again for London tourism. There's St Paul's Cathedral and the Millennium Bridge. And I'm about to, someone almost ran into me here as well, I think, at some point. Oh, yeah, you can see him coming. There he comes. And we managed to dodge each other. So this uh, particular exhibition um, is a chance to, it's about the visionary work of Swedish painter Hilma A.F. Klint and experienced Dutch painter Piet Mondrian. And it looks at their art in a completely different light. Now, you may have seen my Barbara Chase Rabu and Alberto Giacometti video, and it's this idea of the dialogue of two artists or who are contemporaries, I suppose we could say. I don't know if that's the right word to use here. Um, who, like, in dialogue or in conversation or looking at their work uh, kind of as a unit, I would say. And uh, well, although Hilma and Piet didn't actually meet... Uh, they both have, there's a lot of similarities and uh, kind of nuances that they both shared. And I think this exhibition captures that quite nicely. So it's divided up into different zones. And I thought that was uh, really interesting. And uh, there was some beautiful images and they really have like stood the test of time, like the use of colour. And this was a real, really lovely one. Uh, that re immediately caught my eye as I walked in. Um, I just love the use of the colour and it's one of those uh, images that you can just like kind of stare at for a while and just like take in and consider and then I love reading the graphic next to it and kind of like you know the text next to it and finding out what it's all about. This landscape as well I was really drawn to it felt quite calming and peaceful to look at which was really nice um, and really kind of like and the way that they both kind of sat together was nice. Um, I liked this room. I thought this room was like, it's very simple, uh, deceptively simple, I would say. Uh, you know, you might just think, oh, it's just a bunch of colours on the wall and, you know, kind of off to one side. But, you know, as you look around and you kind of have an emotional reaction to it and then you go and read the text and you actually think, OK, there's a lot more to it. Um, that's I always love that kind of element of surprise. And I thought this was really lovely. And I just I, I just love looking at gorgeous colours kind of like laid out next to one another. This was really cool. Uh, this is like a temple. It's like a kind of statue of a temple. And it's like there was the idea of like relating it to the mind. And what it is, there's like a room in the exhibition called the Ether. And it kind of, there's different themes and they're all kind of brought together by this like one uh, running thread. And this is kind of like that central room. Um, but there were so many great like graphic prints and it felt quite modern and very contemporary and uh, you know I loved all the kind of squares the cubism I think is the term and like the kind of graphic uh, quality that these images had and yeah you know I could easily see these being prints or um, on fabric uh, looking at it from a fashion perspective or just in general like you know just seeing this like this I thought was really nice to have a look at and you know the exhibition is quite spacious and like you know I like the way it was laid out um so all in all I thought it was an interesting exhibition and um if you ever had if you've had the chance to go please do sound off in the comments below and as always thank you so much for watching